Good morning. I remember a business trip that I was on out of town. When I arrived at the airport, I went outside to go catch a shuttle bus to go get my car. When I got out there, um, I found where the shuttle bus was supposed to pick me up. But I was standing there, and the bus came by, and it was packed with people. And it never even slowed down, just went right on by. And so I continued to wait until finally another bus was coming, and it was packed with people, and it went right on by. You know, I stepped back and tried to look up to make sure, am I standing in the right place? Yes, I am. I got back into position, bus came by, it still was packed with people. After three times and standing there, what I felt like was forever, the next bus started coming, I stepped out in the road trying to flag them down. It was still packed, went on by. Needless to say, by now, I really wasn't very happy. And so I got on my phone and I called the car rental company and I said, I can't catch a shuttle bus. I need help. I'm here at the airport. And they said, we're so very sorry. We'll send someone over to pick you up immediately. I stood there and I stood there and I stood there. And still nobody came. Finally, I was standing there when a thrifty car rental bus came up. And this driver had made a number of his own loops, saw, recognized that I was still standing there. He opened his car and said, his window to this bus and said, sir, are you having a problem? I said, yes, I can't get my car company to stop and pick me up. He said, climb on my bus, I'll take you. So I climbed on the thrifty car rental bus. We headed off. He already had stopped and dropped off his passengers. I was the only one on the bus with him now. And I started telling him, about what had happened, how long I'd stood there, and how these cars had come by. He listened, he was polite, he sympathized, but he never once said anything bad about the car company that I was going to. So we finally pulled up outside the car company where I was going to. He was pulling up and I said, look, you can stop here. You don't have to go drive into their area. I'm happy to walk up there from here. He said, oh no, no, sir, I'm happy to take care of you. So he drives in drives into this other car company. He pulls up right in front, right in front where it says, your names are in lights because you're somebody special to pick up your car. Well, I got ready to get off the bus and I said, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. I got out money to tip him and he said, oh no, sir, I can't accept that. I just wanted to help. But next time you might want to try thrifty. I got off the bus and he drove away. I could see inside all the different employees staring outside like, why in the world is a thrifty bus pulling up in front of our car place? I came inside and I finally got up to the counter and I said, I bet you're wondering why I came over in a thrifty bus. He said, yes. And I said, well, I stood outside waiting and the buses kept coming, but they were always full. No one would stop. Well, sir, you should have stepped out there and flagged them down. I did. I tried. They still wouldn't stop. Well, sir, you should have called us. Well, I did, but no one ever came. Well, sir, you must have been standing in the wrong place. They never once admitted that they had a problem or that they made a mistake. Not once. They continued to always give an excuse and somehow blame me. You know, it really left me to think in that day. How often do we find it hard to admit we've made a mistake? How often do we find it hard to say, I'm sorry, I really made a mistake? When was the last time you said that? When was the last time you said that to your child? I'm sorry, I made a mistake. When was the last time that you said that to your husband or your wife? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. When was the last time you said that to a friend or to someone you work with? If you can't remember the last time you said, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, then chances are you have a problem. Because you see, we're all human. We all make mistakes. And those are six words that can help to change your world. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. That will make it a better day. Have a good one.